Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show you amazing photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got these photos on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof of the small occult elite of Earth make the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, before I start, don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Paintings dated from the 1700s. The paintings seem post-apocalyptic, and the people look very out of place among the ruined structures. The Nino Dent, Scotland. Located approximately 5 miles south of St. Andrews, the Nino Dent is a site of ancient Druid, pagan worship. The pre-Christian holy site consists of two large crags, below which lies a clearing in the woods. The first crag is known as the Altar Stone. The well, which sits at the top of the rock, is said to have been used as an altar for human sacrifice by ancient Druids. A footprint carved into the rock next to the well gives us an insight into the importance of the site. Carved footprints were used during inauguration rituals, such as the anointing of kings. The next crag, referred to as Pulpit Rock, may have been used to plant a wooden cross carried by Christian monks at one time. The Gate of the Gods is a stargate located near Lake Titicaca in Peru. It consists of a block 22 feet by 22 feet, with an inset door measuring 7 feet high, carved into the rock. The ancient Incas believed that the larger of the two doorways was used by the gods to travel between worlds, whereas the smaller one was for mortals. According to legend, an Incan priest fleeing from invading Spaniards in the early 16th century used a key to open the stargate, disappeared into a tunnel of light with the key, and was never heard from again. Check out this map of America, dated around 1540. It depicts Tartarian castles from different nations across the continent. Makes one think, why would there be maps of America with castles on it? Why isn't it mentioned in our history books? Why do they only mention tribes that are described as savages, but not really their infrastructure? If we know Latin American countries to have had these temples, pyramids, and other stone structures, why wouldn't they be all over North America as well? Twelve feet tall and two-headed well-preserved giant mummy discovered in Patagonia. In case you didn't know already, the story of the famous two-headed giant known as the Capois is by far one of the strangest stories you'll ever hear. This is the story of a 3.5 meter tall giant that was discovered originally in Patagonia. That story takes a lot of weird turns, though, so make sure you're paying attention. The story begins in 1673, when the Spanish mariners were just minding their business when they spotted a massive giant with two heads attached to his body roam around the lands nearby. They quickly debarked and went straight for him, defeating him in the process. Despite the fact that the giant was clearly stronger than them, through the use of clever tactics, the team was able to actually defeat him and cage him, only to keep him for good.
the mystery of the Waru Waru or Camelones. In Puno, Peru, these strange and mysterious forms of enormous proportions have been found that can only be seen from airplanes. The origin or culture that built it, as well as its antiquity, is unknown. Although some images remind us of the Eye of God, the circular image found in Carol Soup, that represents the Ila Texi, the god of the Incas, where the inner circular eye represents the Eye of God, and the concentric circumference represents the phenomenal reality, that is to say the universe, or Cosse Pacha living cosmos. These images are located in Pampas, currently used as ridges by the farmers of Puno. According to reports, the so-called Camelones, or Waru Waru, are a powerful technology that was implanted since ancient times in the Andean highlands, and whose greatest productive utility is to allow cultivation in the cold environment of the highland nights. Moctezuma II was the ninth Latoni of Tenochtitlan and the sixth Huitlatoni, or Emperor of the Aztec Empire, reigning from 1502 to 1520. The first contact between the indigenous civilizations of Mesoamerica and Europeans took place during his reign, and he was killed during the initial stages of the Spanish conquest of the Aztec Empire. Notice the background behind him. Antennas or crosses, something not adding up, not the type of architecture you expect from the Aztecs. Here, in the last photo, is a 15th century drawing from Russia. You decide. Apparently, during the Vietnam War, the United States military recruited Native American trackers and scouts, once enlisted, an amazing thing happened. Whatever talents and skills they had possessed on the reservation seemed to mysteriously disappear, as recruit after recruit failed to perform as expected in the field. When questioned about their failure to perform as expected, the older recruits replied consistently that when they received their required military haircuts, they could no longer sense the enemy, they could no longer access a sixth sense, their intuition no longer was reliable. They couldn't read subtle signs as well. According to the natives, hair is an extension of the nervous system, a type of highly evolved feelers or antennae that transmit vast amounts of important information to the brain stem, the limbic system, and the neocortex. Only long hair in the old days. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this. They have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you on the next video.